Hi everybody, Susie Q here, and welcome to day two of my fish room makeover. Today I'm gonna to try to move over seven tanks, set up two brand new tanks, connect the air and the lights, and take another big chunk out of this. Would you come on and join me and see how far I've gotten. So I got some of the tanks put up, we got the heat on, and I'm going to connect the air. Right now I just got it here so I can see if it's going to work. So I'm headed to work, the weekend is over. I didn't think I was going to get it done, but I got a big chunk out of it. Let me show you. So I was able to remove the bed, got two shelves set up. Move some tanks out from in front of the window. Space them out. The main goal I was trying to do is space out my tanks so I could actually work on them. Take out my bed and make room for my office. So I still have this tank. This is not my pee poppers. I love that. This tank down here. I can't get in here to clean. I've had it for about 13. Yeah, I've had this is my uh, one of my original tanks and it just keeps growing and growing. I don't, I can't get my hands in there. So I have to do something with that. I wanted to get this 20 long off the ground because it's got some of my favorite fish in there, but crawling on the ground isn't age appropriate. How's that? <laughs> but that's okay. It's getting better. So these two tanks I didn't touch. I still have this was the foot of my bed, so I still have two tanks here. One is my angel breeders, the other one is my red tail Dalmatian platies. And they started off as my camping fish, I had three of them. So I'm really liking these very much. And they're gonna go, depending on how much I, I take to the auction, and this 20 long. These guys in here, which are CPDs, Bumblebee Gobi, Mr. Betta, it's gonna go in the same size tank, but up here. And my window is now open. My sorority Betta with Betta's on the other side, which I had to put dividers in for obvious, until, I'm, until I decide to do a breeding project. 20 long angel fry going to the auction. These are my endlers and my yellow shrimp. My shell dwellers, my Maltese. Uh, also got a Julie and Lulubai, Lulubai, and picked this catfish in that tank. And then the web of wires that I have to organize, fix. One fish, two fish. Thank you very much. I'm going to use this for my heaters, pumps, whatever I need, not lights on a timer. This is amazing. Each one has its own plug in the back and I can turn it on off. I'm not using it yet, I just, just got in the mail. One, one fish, two fish, she talked about it on her video and I really loved it. So if you don't know who she is yet, check her out. She's setting up her tanks. She just built a, a gorgeous a shelf. I don't know how you can make cinder blocks and wood gorgeous, but she did it. So check her out and thank you very much for that suggestion, that's a great idea. So I just wanted to show you the progress it's not done, I'd say I'm about halfway there. And I can open the windows if I want, look at that. First nice day, I'm opening these windows. When I do water changes, it's going right out there. I'm gonna have a great garden out there. This window too, I can get to now. This window is a big picture window, but I have it blocked off with a, with a massive picture that I love. Hope I, got it. I might have to change it out so it doesn't get sun faded in the sun because it is one of my favorites. So that's the update of my not bedroom, soon to be fish room office. Join me tomorrow when I hopefully finish it off. <laughs>